when you sign up for Ring, for example, if you want any kind of stored video for any period of time, you're going to have to agree to Ring's privacies. And I can promise you, if you read their privacies, you're probably not going to sign them because you're now, and there's been recent articles out, investigations about uh, Ring's privacy policies. There, there really aren't any in place. Uh, if you sign or, or tell the police, yeah, it's okay to share my video, they can keep that video forever. And they can pretty much share it with anybody they see fit. Any of the video that's, that's, that you have. Uh, you know, this is something that's been talked about since the book came out in 1984, and the and it's not gotten any better. It's, it's I think we're just opening up the floodgates of, of privacy issues. And again, security, and if you're buying a Ring video doorbell for security, first of all, I think that's a, a, a questionable decision at best, but you are definitely kind of changing the whole idea of what security is all about. Uh, you are now allowing someone into your home essentially so I, I i would have i would avoid that at all costs i am honestly not a big fan of video doorbells and i think the biggest reason is because of, is because of the privacy but even if you just say okay i'm not going to share the video with anybody they are problematic at best because they're going to pick up a lot of things out in your yard from your road that are going to send you notifications they're going to record and it almost becomes uh, not just an annoyance, but it could actually become very nerve wracking for people. And the very reason they get them sometimes to give them peace of mind, it takes away their peace of mind because they pick up so many false positives.